In this video, I'll run through the different options you have when setting up a new GarageBand project and what settings you might want to tweak to make sure you get the best possible start. When you open it, GarageBand will usually open the last project you were working on, but the very first time that you open GarageBand on macOS, you'll see the new project window. To get back to the new project window from inside GarageBand itself, hit File in the toolbar at the top of the screen and then select New. You have several options available to you here. The New Project tab allows you to select the Empty Project option. This will open a fresh GarageBand project where you can start from scratch. Personally, I will start a new project this way 99.9% .9 of the time. The recent tab will display the last 10 projects that you've worked on. The Learn to Play and Lesson Store tabs let you dive into dozens of high quality instruments and artist tutorials. Apple made all of these lessons free a wee while back, so if you can look past the late 2000s slash early 2010s fashion and song choices, it's definitely worth taking a look at what's on offer here. And the project template folder contains six projects tailor-made to get you started with a particular genre quickly. The amp collection template has multiple audio tracks with GarageBand's amp and pedal board effects preloaded, for example, while the electronic project has several EDM-inspired software instrument MIDI tracks set up and ready to go. These templates are helpful if you want to jump in and get a taste of the kind of sounds and instruments that GarageBand offers, but I would probably recommend selecting the empty project option found in the new project tab and building your own project from scratch most of the time. The details menu at the bottom of the window allows you to edit the settings of your project. To set the project tempo, drag the tempo slider or enter a tempo value in the tempo field or click the tap tempo button several times to set your tempo manually. To set the project key, choose a key from the key signature pop-up menu, then click major or minor. To set the project time signature, click the arrows to change the selected number or double click the time signature and enter a new time signature value. To set the audio input, choose an input source from the audio input pop-up menu. This is for audio tracks only though. To set the audio output, choose an output device from the audio output pop-up menu. When you're ready to go, hit choose and your brand new GarageBand project will open and you can dive in and get started. Let me know how you usually start a new GarageBand project down in the comments and give that like button a good hard slap on the way past while you're down there. I really appreciate it and it helps more people see this video. And for more info on what to do once you've got your project all set up and you're ready to get recording, watch this next.